Time for my 39th John Carpenter game, Once Be a Millionaire, the Family Entertainment Edition for the DVD. Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. I don't think to, Chris. Play, you're having a go at the entertainment <laughs> questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Let's kick things off with a 100 pound question. For 100 quid, I think. What's the birthday of Mr. Bogart, star of Casablanca and the African Queen? Harold, Humphrey, Horatio, Horton. That'd be Humphrey Bogart. Well done, that's a great start. A nice easy question, 200 pounds. For 200 quid. Which of these emergency services was the focus of gritty 1970s TV show The Sweet? Police, Ambulance, Fire Brigade, Coast Guard. That'd be the police. <laughs> now you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this 300 pound question. For 300 quid. Huh? Which is a 1985 film where aliens leave pods in the pool at a retirement home? Poltroon, Lagoon, Festoon, Cocoon. That'd be Cocoon. Nice and easy, please. Well done. Let's kick things off with a 500 pounds with question number four. For 500 quid. Which the Fog is the title of an offbeat hospital-based TV comedy series? Blue Tail, Red Throat, Green Wing, Yellowfoot. That'd be Green Wing. Uh, you wouldn't want to give me a wrong answer at this stage, would you? And it's a good job you didn't. You got the right answer. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. For a thousand pounds. Which part could be as often compared to this man? Joe Brand, Jack D, Paul Merton, Lee Evans. That'd be Lee Evans. You had five hundred pounds. You now have one thousand pounds. It's the right answer. <gasps> For two thousand pounds, the 1962 film Cabaret is set in which country? France, England, Germany, Sweden. That'd be Germany. You had one thousand pounds. Yeah, you would be. I wouldn't surprise people actually in France not only realize it's Germany. For four thousand pounds. Which circuit player was contestant in the third series of Strictly Come Dancing? Steve Davis, John Virgo, John Pirate, Dennis Taylor. That'd be Dennis Taylor. Very well done. That's the right answer. You just won four thousand pounds. Oh, I like games like this. You're on four thousand pounds and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. And the first of those questions is worth £8,000. And it's coming up now. The halfway point in this game. Which of these is not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Salvador, Leonardo, Rafael, Donatello. That'd be Salvador. If this is wrong, you lose £3,000. It's Leonardo, Rafael Donatello, and Michelangelo, not Salvador. Okay, it's a bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. That 
that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7,000. So think carefully before you give me an answer. For 16,000. What was Bob Marley's middle name? Sadella, Norval, Ziggy, Nesta. That would be Nesta. His right. Ziggy was the name of uh, the name of uh, Bob Marley, one of Bob Marley's children. Well, I'm not going to put all the stories so far. Nine correct answers, and you've not yet had to use any of your three lifelines. If you can give me a tenth correct answer. You guarantee yourself £32,000. I must remind you that at this stage, if you do give me a wrong answer, you drop right back to 1000 Have a look at this question. Take your time. Tell me if you want to play. For 32000 who directed the 1977 war film Cross of Iron? John Ford, Sam Peckinpah, Sergio Leone, Sidney Lumet. It's the same guy who also directed the 69 Western Wild Bunch. It's Sam Peckinpah. Well, you risked 15,000 pounds on this question. Will you regret it? I doubt it. You've given me the right answer. It's worth 32,000 pounds. Yeah, I know John Ford is the only one who's won, um, the one of the most best directors in the Oscar category, best director with uh, four. With anything less than £32,000. And you might as well play the next question as you now have nothing to lose. Get this right, and I'll be giving you 64000 Have a look, here it comes. For 64000 Henrietta is the middle name of which star? Joan Collins? Joan Crawford? Joan Rivers? Joan Plowright? That'd be Joan Collins. You had £32,000, you had nothing to lose going for this question. As it turns out, you had everything to get. It was the right answer. You just won £64,000. Yeah, don't do cards was with the stories to the, the show Dynasty. Okay. £125,000, it's a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the 32,000 you've just won if you do give me a wrong answer at this point. Here comes question number 12. For 125,000 pounds, where was Daniel Bedingfield born? Canada, USA, Australia, New Zealand. He was born in New Zealand. Well, you could have walked away with 64,000 pounds. Maybe you now wish you had. You shouldn't, though, because you just won 100. £93,000. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happen. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. For a quarter of a million, which of the Marx Brothers was the youngest? Chico, Harpo, Gummo, Zeppo. That would be a uh, Zeppo Marx. Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question <laughs> for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter. Uh, Zeppo was actually the, the last of Mark Frost to be alive. He died in uh, 79, I believe. Gumbo was the second youngest. He died in 77. They obviously admitted uh, Groucho well, Marx. In that question. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. For half a million. In which US state was the sole legend born? Louisiana, Arkansas, Alabama, South Carolina. James Brown was born in South Carolina. You just risked £218,000. You had a quarter of a million pounds. 
quarter of a million. You now have half a million. Amazing. You yeah. are one of our biggest... Where I live, there's actually um, James Brown Arena in um, Augusta, Georgia. The building is too far away from the uh, Augusta National Golf Course. And I, I live two hours away from Augusta, so... Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments' time we will all be celebrating. <sighs> Here comes your 15th and final question. Okay. Chris Tarrant, you do the honors. King the Ka is in New Jersey, Chris. Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question where you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead you are walking away with one million pounds. Number one in the books. Very well done. Thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That was a very odd game, I will say. I mean, didn't get any picture questions. I only got one, I think, after the half the point of the game. It was a picture of James Brown. Very odd game, I will say. Especially the Marx Bros question. It kind of threw me off, but I kind of recovered it afterwards, so. It's. <laughs> Thanks for watching.